Hello everyone, my name is Anshul. I'm a corporate trainee at Madrid Software Training Solutions. So today we'll be talking about data analytics and we'll be deep diving into the needs and the responsibilities in the field of data analytics. So what is the agenda for today? Today we'll be discussing about what is data analytics and then the role responsibilities. Further we move down to the lane, then we'll be discussing the education qualification and what are the difficulties that a data analyst uh, has to face in the real world and then the statistical theories that one should know uh, before doing a data analysis and then what is the expected salary for a data analyst then so what exactly data so data is approximately everywhere if i'm not saying it wrong data is almost everywhere if you're scrolling through your Instagram, if you're watching a YouTube on video, if you're reading an article on Google, no matter what you're doing on internet, if you're doing something with the help of the internet, you are generating data simultaneously. So if you're scrolling data, you're liking something, you're basically giving a feedback to the Instagram that you like, particular, uh, you like this particular type of content. If you're watching a video, you are giving a, a feedback to the YouTube that you like particular uh, data and then you give a thumbs up to it. So basically that's your feedback to the YouTube videos. So whatever you're doing on internet, you're basically giving feedback while you're watching. So it's a simultaneous work and data is generating almost from everywhere. There will be your electronic stuff, digital stuff like Apple Watch, iPhones, mobile phones, Androids, um, Android watches, smart watches, web data. If you are scrolling through Instagram, as I mentioned, if you are scrolling and just doing window shopping, then also you're generating data. If you're doing online transactions, then also you're creating logs. So almost whatever you're doing in your day-to-day -day life, you are generating data. So what do we do with this data? So when we have lots and lots of data, that is humongous amount of data, then we can scrap that data into a useful information. So basically, when the data uh, comes to the data analyst, it comes in the form of raw data. And the responsibility for the data analyst is to convert this raw data into a structured form so that it can be readable enough to interpret information. Also, we can do pattern matching and keyword based search on our raw data that is basically a, a part of indexing and searching for a data analyst and then in order to learn about the environment in, or in order to learn about the data we need to dig into the data by data mining basically data mining is also going into deep diving into the data set you're getting or basically simply the data you're getting and then taking out useful information by applying regular expressions per se and then also applying statistical models and with the help of those statistical models with the help of the that will with the help of that structured data which you acquired from the raw data with the help of that particular model you are, can make predictive analytics so what is exactly data analytics data analytics is as analyzing of raw data in order to make conclusions about the information as i mentioned the the field of converting the raw data into a useful information into a readable information so that we can create value out of that particular data many of the techniques and processes of data analytics have been automated into mechanical processes you must have heard about machine learning you must have heard about artificial intelligence so basically the data you feed to those algorithms you had to you have to analyze that data so basically you cannot feed a garbage data to an algorithm there is a saying that if you put a garbage data into the machine learning algorithm, the output will be a garbage output. So that won't be a useful output. So data analysis is really important as a particular field, as well as in other fields like data science, machine learning, engineering, and data engineering as well. Data analytics can also, data analytics can also be used to identify seasonality and trends so, uh, and various other aspects of the data so that the company you're working for basically evaluate and enhance their strategies according to the need of the environment. 
then as you can see this is kind of a data analyst vein diagram so data analyst consists of a person who has knowledge of mathematics and a visualization and convenience so basically if you think that data analyst can be a person who has who need to have a hardcore knowledge of programming uh, you may be wrong because it is more than that data analyst is more than just programming it is all about it, it is also about communication it is also about conveying results properly so in order to be a good data analyst you need to have good communication skill as well and good presentation skill as well so this is a comparison of data science versus data analyst versus software delivery you can have a look at it because data science and data analyst there is a substantial overlap they are not mutually exclusive and they are not in, they are not separately whole separated as whole there is a substantial overlap as i mentioned <clears throat> then we have the role responsibility so what exactly does a data a data analyst do so suppose you have a data first of all what do you do you basically clean the data so how do you clean the data you have various methods to you can use some languages like r python python is preferable these days it's one of the hot topics in 21st century because python is easily scalable and python has built in libraries to perform data analysis like pandas and numpy and for visualizations python has matplotlib and cbot and also dash and plotly and bokeh so there are so many built in libraries in python python that you can do a lot of things with the, with some basic knowledge as a, if i'm not wrong and then also a data analyst helps to translate data into visualization and visualization in such a way that a non technical person is able to understand because suppose you are presenting information presenting a data or insights from a data to a non technical person say your client so your client won't understand the technical terms may or may not be he the client may be may able to understand the technical terms and may not be but you will you will have in mind that you need to make him understand in the non technical way with the help of visualization a picture is worth a thousand words you should always remember that also as a data analyst you need to work on data so where do we get the data you get the data from the servers you get the data from the company's databases and in order to work on databases you need to have a knowledge of sql you need to know how to extract data with the help of sql queries and then at last when you finish your data analysis the main idea the eventually the eventual level of your job is to create a report so that you can evaluate and convey comprehensive results to add a value to your company so this is a data analytic process as i mentioned you have the data and then you perform some data analytic insights after getting the insights you basically do the sampling of your data and then do that analytical process again and again so that you can be sure about your results because there are lot of assumptions when we apply mathematical models when we apply statistical models or machine learning models so in analysis there are lot of assumptions and you cannot be 100% certain about those assumptions because they are not they do not work in every direction so you need to have substantial checks on your exclusive results and then if you are sure enough that the about your analysis then you work on the models if you have a knowledge about that because if you don't do not possess the knowledge of modeling building basically machine learning or say artificial intelligence then your report your data your analysis will be passed on to some other person who is going to build the model and that model is going to expect accept new data sources so that the company can expand that analysis which you have performed on the previous data and hence giving out predictions for the betterment of the company and so what are the qualifications of a data analyst so a data analyst should be uh, should have a degree not should but it, if a person have a degree in statistic mathematics or in computer science either of those you are good to go to be a data analyst also you need to have knowledge in statistical and data mining techniques and if you have a knowledge of machine learning then your way to go you can build models on by your own and 
then you can also apply social networking anal analysis like sentiment analysis in machine learning then a lot of data anal uh, analysis works on uh, works on heavy data sets that comes in the field of big data and in order to understand big data you need to have knowledge of hadoop spark virobi mysql any of these especially the map reduce because that comes in big data and knowledge of advanced statistical techniques and concepts including regression and properties of distributions in statistics and in analysis distributions of your data set are really important and you need to have knowledge about distributions so what are distribution exact exactly we'll be discussing in the statistical part then the obstacles the hindrances that a data analysis face as i mentioned earlier when you perform data analysis you have certain assumptions you have certain assumptions related to your models related to your uh, methods that you are implementing so you, you need to overcome those assumptions basically certain suppose you want to apply a statistical test a parametric test but the data is not suitable for that so we need to check enough to validate your models and you need not over generalize your results over generalizing will not do any good and will perform in the downside of the company then the statistical topics that you need to understand is basically how do you actually measure the sampling error and what are the various methods of sampling then you need to have a knowledge about the empirical rule basically the normal distribution that is a standard score skewness skewtosis and the various methods to calculate distances like euclidean distances manhattan minkowski and then there are parametric and non parametric tests you need to have knowledge about those two as well there are various parametric and non parametric tests and there are various assumptions over them you need to overcome those assumptions you need to understand where and how and when we should apply these tests and when we should not and then at the ba very basic level you need to know about the probability distributions because once you know about the distribution of a data it is easy to for you to apply those statistical test and then the applications data analysis has various applications in real world like in security like you can be you can use your analysis or more specifically predictive analysis has also helped in dropping crime rates you can also you can calculate crime rates in your area then according to your analysis you can if you're working for a go state government then you can they will deploy troops in that particular area or increase security or deploy cctv cameras and then transportation so basically transportation also a uh, data analysis is also there in transportation in order to get the fastest route in order, in order to get the cheapest route so these these all these comes under the data analysis part and then in the insurance company there is risk management then in the insurance world insurance world is heavily dependent upon data analysis because while a person is being insured there is a lot of data analytic that goes on during that process you don't want uh, a company doesn't want to invest in something that is going to be in loss in future so that is why risk management is a core part of data analysis and then what is the expected salary that is that is the question everyone ask if you are asking about what is data analysis the end question is that what is the expected salary according to the glass law the expected salary is 84000 dollars but the salary depends on various aspects like your experience your education qualifications your performance your core skills your communication skills so basically there are other lot of factors but this is the average salary of a data analyst analyst so this is it for today thank you for your time you can always contact at info at the rate method software trainings dot com we provide courses on data science with python machine learning and tableau also on business analytics and artificial intelligence thank you so much and have a good day